accept and uh, let's play from here yeah it looks like a nice size for my wooden surface so what i'm going to do is to just grab one of this just place it like this i can just put it up just like that let's grab another ones here grab this one let's duplicate those eventually we will replace them so don't worry grab another one Yeah, something like that. Let's grab another one. Um, four should be more than enough. But maybe I want something with different colors. So let me see if I have something different. Uh this one, yeah, I, I could use this one. I could. Uh but actually I'm gonna use it somewhere else. This one yeah, I could try. It's nice to have some variations here. If it doesn't work, I will just change this. But in any case, I will just go here and rotate this while I'm holding Alt. I, I will make a duplicate. I will just put it here. And now I will move it up. And just like that, I'm starting to create some different patterns. Like this one, for example. And let me just close this and I will show you how to make this one look nicer. Okay. We just rotate this around. I just made a perfect 180 degrees without the snapping. That never happened in my life. Okay, so now that I have this, this is these are my measurements. So what I'm seeing here are patterns. So if you take a look at this wood plank, all the patterns are like this. And if you take a close look, it it just looks like lines like this. So what you can do actually is to bar have some variation in these parts like for example some of them go diagonal some of them mostly horizontal you want to keep the same pattern and then maybe you can have something that goes like this and then keep horizontal and some of them like this and this pattern is much more interesting than this one over here where which is just straight lines so we're going to go work on the on the pattern first and you can see that as soon as I, I i will do this uh you you will have more and more variation so i will delete some of them and i will just rotate i will rotate a little bit this one maybe delete this one here and rotate like this from for this side I can maybe delete this one. Um, maybe I could have something like this, where I put the wood planks on top. And notice that I'm not using the nanite version. I don't really need it. This is already a lot of detail combined. So let's go here and create more patterns and we can come back here there you go something like that you can see it's starting to look nicer so let me just delete one of those and uh, what i can do is just rotate a little bit and also here I can just put this thing like this. And now it's very hard to spot the pattern. 
so this is what makes things interesting when you see the world in terms of shapes you will be able to spot what makes something look nice and what something look look boring right so this is a pro tip i want to share with you you can use it in any kind shapes are everywhere here in the composition in the big shapes but also in the small parts so if you apply this principle to everything you do you will be able to make your environments much nicer and let's see if i have everything i do so what i will do is go to my modeling mode and then i will go to merge i will write a new object yes uh wood plank 01 maybe output type of course is a static mesh uh, if you have a dynamic mesh it will create a dynamic mesh but by default it's okay just leave it like that uh, delete inputs uh, not yet I, I will keep the inputs here just so that maybe in the future we need to use them if i go here you will see that I have my wood plank. I will change the pivot point. I will go to modeling and I will go to pivot and then I will maybe the left and the back, the front. Yeah. Yeah, the back is fine. Uh, front, yes, front. Let's, let's keep it on front. And let's do the same for all of this. Let's go here and change the pivot point, put it on front. 